Well, believe it or not, 70% of my patients who are cheating now are women. And, and yes, and the men say they don't see it coming. What happens is that the women get into this rut. They feel like they're not being appreciated, uh, not being taken out, and they start seeking affection elsewhere. No matter what you do, your woman is mad at you. If you work all the time, well, you work all the time. You ain't never home. You always leaving me. I hate this shit. If you home all the time, why are you all up under me? Let me get some fucking room to breathe. Damn, stop sweating me. I hate this shit. If you make more money than her, well, fuck you. I want to make decisions too. You ain't my fucking daddy. I don't need you to take care of me. I hate this shit. If she makes more money than you, you broke motherfucker. You never have no fucking money. That shit, I don't want to make all these decisions. I need to be taken care of. I hate this shit. I can't take it. And the number one reason your woman's always mad, fellas, because you ain't her first choice. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the Alphasphere. Welcome to the Alphasphere. The only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. Watch how fast a woman will flip the script when she's encountered with that very thing she says she preferred. This is going to be good, huh? And you know what I'm saying? And after some jewels being dropped today, I'm going to get some more. So I need you to have your money right. Respect the hood. Please so, respect you say your money right? How much? Like, how much money can they, what, what type of job can they, can they be like, do they got to be like on, on the register at Walmart or Atari? Can they be, can they, can they be the manager? Can they be the general manager? Mm. Well, I'm just saying, why are you discriminating mm. against it? Like, ho, oh, oh, you mean to tell me that Mike, Mike can't be, or Boo Boo can't be working? Like, damn, I'm chilling. I ain't in the streets no more. I just came home. I did a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm over here. I'm stocking the clerks at Target. I moved up. I'm the manager mm. now. I got me a little clean car. Mm. I still got my, my jail workout on. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking good. Yeah. Got my nice flying fade up. Okay. I can't, he, ain't get a, he can't get a shot? I mean, I, I wouldn't know where I would meet him. First of all, it got to be... You he could be anywhere. His, you might be in the nah, gym. No, because he always said he a general manager. He always at work. I don't... You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I wouldn't but ever meet him. But you might be in Target get some time. You know what, man? And this ain't even a knock on this chick because there's a lot of that going around. No real man wants a woman who has a non-feminine voice. You just don't want it. When you hear this woman's voice, now, we're not even talking about her voice. Eliminate her voice. We're talking about her pronunciation, enunciation, diction, the words she chooses to use, and the way she relays those words with a certain spunk. Like, it means something for her to speak that way. See, there's a woman who grew up in that environment who didn't embody the culture or the energy of that environment. That's about as far hood as we're going. You know how you like to go there and get towels. But they be mostly in the office. I'm going to be in the aisles looking for the shit I need. I ain't going to ever run into y'all, so. But what if he do walk through and see you in the aisle? Yo, what's up? Most yeah, of the time, niggas like, ain't got married, a chance, so. man. I was. Wayne, I still say to this day, that's the best relationship I've ever been in. Country Wayne. Pretty successful comedian in his own right. Getting money. The woman just said, that is the best relationship she's ever had. Wayne, is he don't even use profanity as a comedian. Wayne, is he's one of the good guys. Nobody has anything negative to say about Wayne. This is her best relationship. Now, the broke dude who worked at Walmart, that was the worst possible scenario for her. This is the best one, right? She should be saying different things. That's not how women work these days. With certain things. Um, we would still beef about how much we make. So I always, I'm like, I make more than you. If you're dealing with a woman who make more money than you, man, there is no respect coming from that. I just did a video with Nikki Giovanni telling James Baldwin the same thing. Well, I can get my own money. You should just come anyway. Even though I make more money than you, everything will be okay. It won't. And the, and the greater tragedy is that it's destroyed by things which have nothing to do with you and nothing to do with me. A man is built as he's built, and there's nothing one can do about that. A man is not a woman. That's true. You know, and, and whether he's wrong or right, look, 
if we're living in the same house, you're my wife and my woman, I had to be responsible for that house. And I'm not allowed to be responsible for that house. I'm no longer in my own eyes. It doesn't make any difference what you may think of me. In my own eyes. That's right. I'm not a man. That's that's you, you see it, it what I mean? It does indeed make, make a difference what I think about it. Because I could be perfectly willing, and as a matter of fact, I am perfectly willing to concede that, first of all, a man is a natural aggressor. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't care if I walked up to you and said, let's go to bed. Mm -hmm. You are the aggressor. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Because it all depends on you. Mm -hmm. I could fool myself. I could fool my friend. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. It depended on you. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. see? So I'm never confused on that level. Yeah, but, but I've seen I've seen so many people get so hung up in, in such crappy, superficial kind of things that, that for lack of being able to bring a steak in the house, they won't come. I can get my own damn steak. Nikki, I need you. Nikki, and that's what the black... No, really. I mean, yeah, that's Nikki, to me what the black... Yeah, but Nikki, you're perfect. Here's more evidence that it won't. It doesn't work that way. And as men, we shouldn't want it to work that way. As a man, if you don't have the mindset to be provider, protector, guy, and boss of the entire scenario, see, these men tell you provide and protect and then let the woman control things. That's not how it goes. The provider and protector is in control of the situation. I, I let them be on this house for a while. And, and, and Wayne is so competitive. I'm like, okay. And at, at first it was cool. It was cute. I'm like, okay, I got a nigga that's like, okay, challenging. All right, cool. We wanted to go on tour together. It was going to be called Best of Both Worlds. You know, he's a clean comic. I'm dirty. I'm raw. I'm, I'm Baltimore. I'm, he's church. He's Bill Cosby. Well, before the charges, you know. This, like, all right, we can co-headline a tour. You do... You, you headline, I headline. I'm like, okay, cool. He like, but I got to get X amount. I'm like, why? He's just like, just for one, I'm the man. And then two is you're my woman. No, that's not what we're doing. The world has changed so much now that it's sickening, man. It's sickening how men are raised to be more soft-spoken, more effeminate, more laid back, more accepting of foolishness. And women are taught, you don't accept nothing. You go out there and get your bag. You focus on what you need to focus on. Don't worry about it. Don't you never let no man take care of you. You put yourself in the situation. What you got to do? Because you see, I sell out shows. I put asses in seats. I could, if, if, I could see if I was just starting out. I could see if I wasn't just. I'm just. Shows that you don't sell out, I sell out. He, and he sells out. But what the f are you talking about? We're going to do 50 50 or it ain't nothing. He couldn't deal with that. And also, this is like, yo, and I love him to death. Still, we're still good friends. She can't even call him man. She can't even call him this man, this dude, this guy, this fellow, this person, this mother. Anything is better. Man, can you imagine your woman calling you that? I ain't talking about telling somebody, I love that nigga. I ain't talking about that. I'm about, you ain't gonna say nothing about him. That's my nigga. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about this. You ain't never that. Man, who do you think he talking to? That's how dudes talk to each other, man. This was like, he know how I say this. He was like, um, well, in a few years, I don't even want you to be touring and doing, I want you to be, you want me to do what? Stay home. You want to take care of me. That sounds great to a certain type of female. It sounds great to a feminine type female. These ain't my words. These are her words. It sounds great to a certain type of female. But a woman who views herself as too masculine to be a housewife, a woman who views herself as too masculine to be in a position of servitude, a woman who views herself as too masculine to be anything less than your equal or your superior as a man is a woman you need to avoid unless you want that if you're the type of man who wants that get it but understand that's what you're getting this is the same thing eartha kit used to say shout out to sj this is the same thing she used to say before she ended up sitting in the yard in an interview at 70 some years old howling like a cackling hen with dogs barking in the back by herself if a man came into your life wouldn't you want to compromise? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> A man comes into my life and I have to compromise? 
You must think about that one again. <laughs> a man comes into my life and you have to compromise for what? For what? For what? This is the eventual end of a woman who doesn't understand the reason she was created. She can get all the money she wants. She can get all the accolades she wants, all the success she wants. She was she is what Vivica Fox was 30 years ago. She is what Lisa Ray was 30 years ago. Even Monique, you heard her say, I, I, I would be old Monique. Well, new Monique, guess what? New Monique has calmed down. And guess what? New Monique got a husband. Is he has some questionable shit going on with them, but she got a husband. She got the husband she won't. I'm a worker. I'm always work. I don't even know what the f retirement even going to look like because I ain't going to ever do it. If I could, I would be a hundred on stage. Cause that's what I love. That's what I want to do. I'd be a hundred on stage talking about myself. Still making my f laugh. No teeth, all dentures, <laughs> all in the, I, I'm going to do it. I'm not, I'm a worker. And I still would love to be a wife. I want to have more kids. I still, I still want, I need, I, this is why I, I need for someone to understand that. Like, it's okay. I, it's okay. It's okay for me to be a successful businesswoman and still be a housewife. I can still do that. I'm not going to ever sit down. Not for no man. I don't care how much you make. You can make more than me. I'm not going to rely on your money. I have to rely on mine. And maybe I got to get better with that. Man, I, I cannot let nobody take care of me. That's the delusion of a modern woman. Now, when she was with Gilly Nim, Gilly Nim was telling her about the type of man that would accept that. That's the type of man that would accept her going to get money, being a wife on the side, Whenever she could, whenever she wasn't on the road traveling, because he just happened to have him some jazz. He's a regular dude. There ain't nobody out here that's in no situation to win, man, that's going to let her do that. Because then they hold it over your head, Jay. I just, I've been in so many situations where it's like, yo, a nigga will do this for me. I did this for them. I never throw in your face this, but you won't throw in my face this. Shut, shut goofy ass out of here. I hate that.